Oh my god. Oh sweet Jesus, that's just what I need. Right, we're gonna have to recycle them first. This was actually a base that I was hoping to get raided today, but someone's already done it for me. In between me getting raided too, probably the same guys, but gonna be perfect for what we need. So we'll dump our stuff in here, we'll get a box down, and then we'll go and try and exact a little bit of revenge. Still not dead? Thank you. What the fuck, bro? How are you fucking stupid? I was literally just thinking to myself, we need some furnaces for this new base. And this guy had him. Fuck! Dead inside. Big boy friend with a rad suit as well. Damn! Okay. Got out for now. Oh god, there's someone in this base. Oh shit. Hey, whoa, whoa. the right key. Do I have the key now? Yes I do. Oh bless him. Oh I'm so sorry to him. Oh I'm not gonna fuck him over. I'm just not. I'm gonna take some of the loot because I need it. I need the stuff. <laughs> oh god I'm so sorry to him. I'm on an op operation rebuild here, dudes. I'm sorry. This is Russ. I'm just going to pick and choose some of the stuff um, and roll out. Autobots roll out. Oh, fire arrows. Oh, that's gold dust. Oh, they have got a TC? Not a lie, though. Like, if I did destroy their bags, I'd be pretty well set. I've got a plan. There you go. There's your key back, boys. If I wasn't on Operation Solo Rebuild right now, I would have left the stuff, but I didn't take it all. I didn't take all of the best, a lot of the stuff. I mean, I took a lot of their wood, because I hate farming wood, as everyone in Rust does. And I, I know I took some of their other nibbles, but I, I need it, dudes. I need it. If I can help them out later on in the episode, I I I'll head back there in a bit. Um, and talk to them if they talk English. I'll try and help them out. Yeah, because I think I saw a couple of backwards walls Obviously, it's all twig and stuff. They need to know not to make keys all that sort of jazz But in this modern climate when you've watched a rust video before you know that you you don't see youtubers like solo people Streamers whatever running around with keys anymore. You just don't need to do that We'll see we'll see. Well, I'll, I'll go over and help them somebody less kind than me would have taken more Destroyed all of their hard work, and I know I've sort of done that, but I, I will make it up to them a sword and fire arrows as well is some incredible blueprints to grab, you know. Obviously, if you caught the last episode, this is my base from then, um, which is beginning to decay. Now, I don't have... Now, I've like, got fire arrows, to be fair, if I make a research table, I could uh, raid the TC in here, get re-access to the tier 2, but I did just hear the turret I have in here go off. And a dead body. Yeah, naked. So, yeah, the whole big thing today is we need to rebuild... Build a new base, all that jazz. We're going to build our own base today, not take one over. Um, I need to go and help those kids. I'd love to do some raids. If we can get satchels and bean cans and stuff, that would be glorious. We just seem to be finding absolute noobs at the minute. Obviously, with the Steam Summer Sale, so many new players have joined Rust. And it's so hard, so hard to identify a new player from just a foolish one. Um, and so I'd like to help them out where I can, and I know I fucked these people over, but I'll, I'll help them out, don't worry. Number one tip for anyone that's just bought Rust, if you are just coming to this completely new and fresh, 
watch up on some videos and join an absolutely dead pop server to start because you need to learn the mechanics of the game and I, I didn't play a server with like p more than sort of 10 people on for like the first year that I owned Rust. That was way before YouTube and all that but it's just it's just the best way to do it, learn the game first. And oh welcome to the video everyone, if you are new around here, welcome. Drop a like if you go on to it, enjoy the vid. And yeah, stick around, let's make it a good one today. Gonna just be cheeky for a second and pilfer this workbench, craft myself a ladder. What the fuck? The red suit man up there, do you see him? Fucking guy on a horse. This base has twig. This base has twig. This base has twig. There's a man there. That was fucking creepy as fuck. He's loaded. Why has he got a key? Oh my god, so much shit. Rather than the rad suit, that's fine. What's in there? Love it. Obviously two of them. Two bags. Like I say, dudes, I, I don't know. I don't know. If jackpot solo loot finds, I don't know. <laughs> you guys think I should do a video? Just like a tips and tricks first day in Rust for new players video? Something like that? Just with like the dead, dead basic mechanics of the game. Like I'm talking to the bare bones. Don't craft keys, you don't need to. Upgrade all your floors, you need to. That sort of stuff. Work on the which way around the doors go. Well, that sort of jazz, what do you think? In case you don't remember from last episode, while the things, uh, the resources and stuff on this server do stack to three times, the server is only two times gather. And that's it, no other mods, so same crafting, same everything else, except it does stack to three times and farms twice times. Start getting like sulfur and stuff produced soon as well. That is so, so, so good. We need another box, we need to expand the base, let's be honest. And yeah, I'll do that first. I'm gonna move base, make a completely new one altogether, but I need somewhere just to store the loot for now. I just went to grab myself some fucking donuts, there's a guy outside. Sounds naked, he's using a rock. He's got a spear though. I'm gonna help you up, brother. What the fuck? That was a flick shot and a half. Ooh, baby, baby. Yeah, that's gonna be in 3, 6, 9, 12, 15k. There's plenty, I would suggest. Hey. Excuse me. Hello? It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Hello? Hello. Could I give you a could I give you a tip? Quick tip. Okay, so you know how you've got key locks? And keys, you you don't need if you don't need the key. If you craft the key lock, you don't need to make a key. So if you drop the key on the floor, and try and use this door now, you'll still be able to use it. This wall is backwards. This is soft side. I could pick into it. And you want an airlock? Watch some YouTube videos. Pick up some tips. All right. So they're very new. And that's fine. Okay, I wasn't recording because it was just a naked, but look at all this shit he had on him. Obviously just been to Outpost, I don't know. Did look shifty, which is why I did shoot at him. He was hiding from me in a bush. Wow, that's a big one. There's someone here. Back off till he comes back to the bubbler. Oh my god. Something like that's gonna be coming back, isn't he? Don't know why I've kept that, but we're making money. 
fucking moves right now. I would have liked to have taken a little bit more of his shit, but this, this stuff is kind of good because I need that. That I, I'm, I'm so bothered about that, really. Okay, he hasn't hit me once. That's fine. And shot him. Everyone with their goddamn keys. Why'd you shoot at me, man? It's pointless. I can't get over how well this wipe is going in general. I know we haven't progressed to that next tier, like semi-rifles, satchels, bean cans, that sort of good stuff, but we'll get there. We're, we're certainly on the way resource-wise. We're definitely endgame. Oh wait, are you the... Are you the two guys I helped? Alright, go on. Just jump in. Why, why, what are you doing? Jump in. Wait for it. Three, two, there it is. And he's dead. And there's the other one dead. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna spitball a bit of the base build right now. There's a guy right there. Hey, brother. I don't know if that's right. Whack some doors on this bad boy. Obviously, eventually it's all gonna be garage doors, but it's gonna take a long, a long way before we get that stuff. If you guys are interested in the base design I am going with right now, um, I'll link it down below in the description. It's it's just, I, I just googled solo base build and this is the first one that popped up with like half a milli views, so it can't be that bad, right? Probably gonna need a lot more stone though. Uh, we might have to go on a little farming run, but that's, that's neither here nor there really, I guess. Whack a furnace in there as my little jump point. Okay, I need to go farm some stone. Oh, that's fine and dandy, like sugar cream and candy. Let's get that done now. Okay, I just placed a tier one for the bants, but that means now I can get, if I place that like so, I can squeeze around it and we've got a tier two bench. That is gorgeous. Don't mind the fluidity to this base, to be honest. I quite enjoy it. Right, we got like the minor loot left to bring over. Might go for a little PvP run or something. Oh, actually there's one thing I want to do. So again, if you didn't catch the last episode, this used to be my base. I moved into it, but someone raided me, took the TC out, uh, but that is my turret. So if I, I'm pretty sure if I, uh, I don't think I'll be able to pick the turret up until I get rid of the TC. Right, oh, these doors are mine. Looks like we got here just in time. No, we didn't, we got just some bone frags in there. Wow, a thousand of them. See, the way they raided me, they they bypassed the turret, they came in through one of the walls and then straight to the loot. It was, uh, it was odd, I'll give you that. But anyway, anyway, my idea is to put a little turret right here next to the front door. It'll be baitable. No, it will be baitable. What if I put it right there, though? Yeah, I've got loads of room. Dope. I can have a little small box there as well for some, uh, just some drop box action. Alright, fellas, and that, I think... It's the kind of perfect place to end it. We've got an incredible base. That's the uh, the front door through there. The, the game has just gone so laggy for me. I don't know why. I'm still getting the good FPS, but just every time I seem to do anything, it just seems to lag out a little bit. It's weird. Anyway, uh, we've got a good good sort of vantage point up top. Like, if anybody starts causing trouble in our neighborhood, we got we got the space to come out. I've never really... I never really build bases with roof access. See, I keep dropping like 50 frames. It's silly. Uh, I never really build bases with roof access, and I think I'm a bit nervous of the fact that I need to make these metal because they might be able to spear raid them, but then the sheet metal doors there covering them anyway, so I'm not too fussed. But obviously, the main aim I'm going to leave the furnaces cooking with loads of wood in, but the main aim is for the whole base to be eventually metal. But that'll come in time. I should really be using that little furnace there. Anyway, we've got the tier two up. We're still rocking. 
800 scrap. We got loads of stuff. Leave the furnace is cooking, all that sort of good stuff. And we're going to be fine. I'm actually going to cook some sulfur as well, so that hopefully next episode we're going to be getting some raiding done. That is the big plan. Just so you you see our loot, it's not it's not mad loot. We spent all of our resources on this base, but I've left some resources in the other two by two. Hopefully somebody raids it and wastes some stuff. I want to get you in the next episode on Friday, boys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great time. Have a great week. My name has been Seals. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Me estás una de más que solo palabras y si no las cumples se van a desvanecer.